Hey guys, Sean Evans here at Lift Hills and Thrills and today we're at the MacArthur Glen Outlet in Cannock to take a look around the brand new development. We're going shopping! Want some food? <laughs> yeah, we're just coming in for food basically. For it's there. pretty busy. It was a nice busy uh, Friday. It's open till 8 o'clock so we'll have a look around and see all the new shops and stuff that they've added. But we just want some food! Ooh, chicken. Fresh chicken sandwich and hot wings. They look nice. It's literally just said on the map, it said opening soon, but it's got to, some of the things got to be open for food, so it's got to be. Sketches. Being the only food outlet open at the moment, there's a queue for Harry Bow. There is a queue for Harry Bow. No, it's not. But it's nice, though. Yeah, it feels like we're not in the UK anymore. <laughs> it's kind of This may just be the quickest tour ever. That's pretty smart though. <laughs> opening May, but not opening yet. Looks like we're having a five guys. I don't even want to repeat how much they cost. Just want to point out that that was the little portion of chips. This area seems to be the only place with undercover seating. There's a few umbrellas at the far end, but if, this, if, it, was, if it was raining today, probably wouldn't be the best time to be eating or drinking outside. I would have thought they'd have had something a bit more permanent for, yeah. for all year round, especially with British weather. Walking around, it doesn't feel like you're in the UK, does it? It's too fancy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've, they've done a good job. There's literally only one place that we want to go and visit in the entire place. Everyone else is the same. Haribo. Now, just walking around, the clothes that they've got on offer are not really clothes that I'm particularly interested in, like going around. Just the, the odd, the, the more affordable designers, your Lacoste, Nike, etc, etc, but uh, for me personally, I'd just come down for Harry, but whoever watches this, whoever clicked on a MacArthur Glen designer outlet tour, just send me a message in the comments, I'll reply to you just out of pity. <laughs> got to sanitise. <laughs> One-handed sanitise. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bow tour. We're on a Harry Bow shop tour right now. After waiting an extortionately long amount of time to come and look at some sweets. Five pound fifty. Five pound fifty. Literally just eating and I'm getting hungry again. It's not overpriced either, it's actually quite cheap. If you're a Haribo nut, you'll be alright, yeah. Pick a mix up there in the far corner, so we'll go check that out. Okay. Okay. Six quid for all that. Seven quid for all that. Eh? 
What instruments have you been given? <laughs> for pick and make destruction. Alright. How much was that? £5.50? Yeah, that's, that's a fair scoop. Just gotta cram it down now. Gotta lay it. Push it down. Yeah, on. Stamp on it. Not that big, really. And here is Jim in his natural habitat. Sweet. Pick and mixing. The hairy bull. <laughs> Count it. I'm sure there's a science to this where you have to like cram the corners and like wrap the laces in a certain way and that sort of stuff. Right. I'm getting, getting a POV shot of how this is done right now. Fill in. Yeah, get some jelly babs to fill out the corners right there. Okay. It smells much better down this side. This smells sweeter down. It's marshmallows. It's them marshmallows. I haven't got gloves on. We've broken the sacred har Haribo rule. <laughs> and welcome to the MacArthur Glen toilet tour. It's <laughs> the mac and cheese kitchen outside. Yeah, yeah. That's why they need more restaurants. Definitely need more restaurants. And like you were saying, a bar around this area at the end of the square would make a lot more sense. Yeah, at night it'll be cool with all the lights wrapped around the tree. At Christmas, they'll probably have like, come and meet Santa and what have you. A short and sweet video going up on a Saturday at the MacArthur Glen Canic designer outlet. Nice sunny day, perfect to come down. If it's raining, that place is going to be deserted. <laughs> 100% because there's only one indoor space or walkway to eat your food with four tables on it. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, there's enough places to eat anyway, so it's okay at the moment. But yeah, on a rainy day, there's not really many places to stay long term. Oh, Can't believe the busiest shop there was a Harry Bow shop. That's insane. It's always going to be the same. That queue was longer than anything we queued in yesterday. Mental. But still cool if you're into Puma, Nike, and all those sort of design outlet shops. Not my cup of tea personally, but it's a nice little space to walk around. They've done a good job with that. It looks like you're at like a Westfield Mall or something very LA or Florida ish. But yeah, for Sean Evans, you've been watching Lift Dills and Thrills. Something different on the channel once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! Going for a beer.